As you know, the clock ticking here towards the kickoff of Super Bowl 47 this Sunday night in New Orleans. But unlike other Super Bowl weeks, in many quarters, the buildup to the game is being overshadowed by some new concerns, concerns over safety and the growing concerns more specifically over big hits, head trauma, concussions, alarming rates of early dementia among retired NFL players and players from every level, including college and even lower level players. You hear these concerns over and over again. Now, there is a new voice um, that we hear from in a magazine interview from the first fan, President Obama. In an interview with the New Republic, the president said of the NFL and of the sport of football, quote, I'm a big football fan, but I have to tell you, if I had a son, I'd have to think long and hard before I let him play football. Football will probably change gradually to try to reduce some of the violence in some cases that may make it a little less exciting but it will be a whole lot better for the players and those of us who are fans maybe won't have to examine our consciences quite as much. Now, that quote, guys, it came just days after um, a former All-Pro linebacker, Junior Seau, uh, the autopsy findings said he had it. You also had a player on the Ravens who's also said right now he thinks the legal uh, ceased to exist in 30 years because it's so hard to legislate. Even if you're not dirty at that rate of speed, guys, that big to be able to make the perfect hit without a helmet to helmets. You think this guy's right? In this case, Pollard, the defensive back for the Ravens, that we might have a different conversation in 30 years from now? Oh, what's amazing is that that particular player has been known for the heavy hits. Yep. And so his view of the world is rollerball. That, that's that's the, where he wants the American public only to, they're only to watch something if it looks like rollerball, the gladiators in the ring. But that, I think... 30 years from now, the technology might be completely, completely different. But, you know, it's the same debate, Richard, as with boxing. You know, when you had all the boxers at the end of their careers who basically couldn't put a sentence together, and now people sit there and said, well, wait a minute, isn't this a barbaric sport? Shouldn't we prevent it? A certain point of it is, well, yes, we can try to protect people, but that's what people go to see. The question is, how do you mitigate that? And in 30 years... I think also from the insurance yeah. exposure. Don, we've been talking about this a lot on this show here. There's one thing for the NFL to self-insure, but colleges, yeah. high schools, the premiums will put these guys out of business. I, there's an economic issue here. Uh, you, you've been ringing the alarm bell, and rightfully so on this. You know, with my generation, Richard, I, I remember your generation as well, uh, the hit uh, that uh, Jack Tatum... Yep. put on Daryl Stingley. Daryl Stingley, I believe, was running across yep. the middle. And right then and there on live television, we saw a man who was perfectly fit, paralyzed, paralyzed yep. for the rest of his life. So I hope that no, one day nobody dies on the field, but you never know. I think the bigger concern is what President Obama was talking about, how many parents are going to let their kids play, mm -hmm. and at some point you're going to wind up with a shortage of players. Mm -hmm. We'll all be watching on Sunday, though. When we come back, we wrap things up.